Hey, I'm Mitchell. Welcome to another video in the RSP Education series. Ever wonder how a factory runs like a perfectly synchronized orchestra with machines, sensors, and software all working in harmony? It's not magic, it's communication. And behind that communication is a language few people know about, but every automated system depends on. In this video, we're gonna pull back the curtain on industrial automation protocols and show you how they keep modern manufacturing running smoothly. Stick around because by the end, you'll understand how these invisible languages power everything from robot arms to remote monitoring in the world's most advanced facilities. If you like this kind of content and want more educational videos, please like and subscribe. Also, this video is for educational purposes only. Always consult a professional for your application. RSP Supply is not liable for any misuse of this information. With that said, let's get right into it. So what is an industrial automation protocol? An industrial automation protocol is a set of rules that allows industrial devices like sensors, controllers, or PLCs, and machines all to communicate with each other within a factory or a plant or an industrial system. Think of it like a language that different automation components use to exchange data and commands so they can work together efficiently. A good analogy to think of is imagining a walkie-talkie system where different workers, or in this case machines, need to communicate. If everybody speaks the same language or protocol, messages are understood tasks get done. If different workers use different languages without translation, communication breaks down. So some key points. Why are protocols needed? In industrial environments, machines and systems, they need to share data to automate processes, to monitor performance, and to troubleshoot issues. So how it works is devices send and receive information in a structured format following a predefined communication set of rules. Some common protocols that you'll run into Right? Different industries and applications, they all use different protocols. Let's cover some popular protocols with several of their categories. So category number one are field bus protocols. These are used for real-time communication between industrial devices like PLCs, sensors, actuators, and such on a factory floor. You also have Profibus, Modbus RTU, DeviceNet, used for connecting sensors and actuators, CAN bus. From there, we have industrial Ethernet protocols. These are faster, a lot more scalable than field bus because they use Ethernet-based networks for communication. They support real-time data transmission and they also integrate with IT networks. Some of them are Profinet, Ethernet IP, Modbus TCP IP, Ethernet version of Modbus. Uh, let's discuss some wireless industrial protocols. These are used for remote monitoring and control where wired connections are just impractical. You got wireless heart. It secures wireless protocol for sensors and process automation. You also have LoRa WAN, which stands for Low Power Long Range Protocol. SCADA and telemetry protocols. Uh, these are used for remote monitoring and control of processes, typically in larger scale operations. They're designed for long distance communication over serial or IP based networks. You got Modbus RTU or TCP, DNP3, MQTT, Right, Modbus, it's simple, widely used in SCADA and PLCs. It is limited though in speed and real-time capabilities. There's also EtherCAT. EtherCAT is Ethernet for control automation technology. It's a high performance Ethernet-based field bus system that's designed for real-time control applications. It's used in applications that require high speed and precise synchronization, like in robotics and motion control. There's Profinet, right? Fast Ethernet based for real-time control, versatile for real-time factory automation. Profibus is a standard for field bus communication in automation technology, widely used in both factory and process automation. Very reliable, widely adopted, suitable for factory and process automation. It's used for connecting PLCs, sensors, actuators. There's a whole lot of these, right? There's a whole lot. It sounds like alphabet soup. It'll make more sense down the road. Foundation Field Bus is an all-digital serial two-way communication system used for industrial automation designed for real-time distributed control applications. Often used in process control industries like oil and gas, chemical and power generation. You have HART, stands for Highway Addressable Remote Transducer. HART is a hybrid analog and digital industrial automation protocol. It superimposes digital communication signals on top of the 4 to 20 milliamp analog signal. Where you'd see it used, very often used in process control industries for smart field devices. Perfect for upgrading legacy systems and process control. 
So why are protocols, we listed a whole bunch, why are they important? Uh, primarily because of their interoperability, reliability, efficiency. Industrial automation protocols, they're crucial because they ensure that different machines, sensors, controllers, and software systems all communicate efficiently and reliably within an industrial environment. Without them, automation just would be disorganized, inefficient, and prone to failures. So seamless communication between devices. Factories and industrial plants use a mix of equipment from different manufacturers. Protocols create a common language that allow these devices to exchange data, ensuring smooth operations. Remote monitoring and control is another reason for protocols. Lots of protocols like Modbus, OPC UA, and MQTT, they enable remote access to industrial systems, allowing engineers to monitor and troubleshoot equipment without being on site. Industrial automation protocols can operate over wired, like Ethernet or RS-45, or wireless, like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, low WAN communication channels, depending on application needs. Let's talk a real-world example. Imagine an automated bottling plant. Sensors detect if a bottle is correctly positioned. PLCs control the filling of the machines. A conveyor system moves the bottles. A SCADA system monitors everything. Without a communication protocol, these systems wouldn't work together efficiently, leading to errors, wasted products, downtime. With a protocol like Profinet or Ethernet IP, everything runs smoothly, increasing output and reducing costs. So now you know. Industrial automation protocols are the backbone of communication between the machines, the sensors, and systems that power today's most advanced industrial operations. From Modbus, Profinet, EtherCAT, heart each protocol they all play a critical role in making sure data flows smoothly that systems stay synchronized and downtime is kept to a minimum without that automation just wouldn't be possible but here's the next big question where exactly are these protocols being used from oil rigs to water treatment plants to the assembly lines building your next car industrial protocols are everywhere and in our next video we're diving into the industries and real world applications where these technologies come to life for hundreds of thousands of other industrial automation products, go to our website, rspsupply.com, the Internet's top source for industrial automation.